Wakaja Gugu Creepy Crawlers, I wanted to give you the um, story about the haunted house. And the story is absolutely true because I experienced it myself. And what happened was this. As you know, Mighty Joe Sells had been driving me around looking for abandoned places in Kentucky and Tennessee uh, during my vacation there. Um, we found this place <clears throat> and there was nowhere next to this place at all. Uh, no other houses, no other buildings or anything within, um, within sight. Uh, I'm talking a couple miles each way, there was nothing. So uh, I was in the upstairs of it and I was uh, photographing and filming and I heard kids' voices like uh, kind of playing. I, I couldn't quite make out what they were saying, but you know, like, like if I thought maybe, oh, they're walking down the road past this house. There's nowhere for them to be coming or going. There's nowhere. Um, but I heard kids' voices. So I got back in the car and I said, Joe, did, did you see any kids? And he said, funny you should bring that up. And I said, why? He's like, one was just by my window and some were playing over here in the, uh, the, uh, the weeds and such in front of the place. And I said, yeah, where'd they go? He said, well, they weren't living. And knowing Joe pretty well, I know he's had experiences um, with spirits before, so there you go, that's the story. It was odd. You saw what the house looks like from the outside. Okay, lots of pictures here. Little video over here. A hand, so.
there's no way I would chance the upstairs. It's it's creaking right now. The house is creaking. 